Proper training for ladder use could keep many accidents from happening, some which result in fatalities. Though this video will walk you through the essential aspects of ladder safety, hands-on training is the best. Take the time to demonstrate to your employees or remind yourself what safe ladder selection, inspection, securing and use looks like. It may also be beneficial to get an outside set of eyes on your employee's ladder work practices. Consider consultation from a safety professional who may be able to observe your job sites and help coach your employees to follow safe ladder best practices. The first step in choosing the right ladder for your job is assessing the job site, the task at hand, who will be doing the work, how high they'll need to climb, and what tools they will be using before you select a ladder. To make the right choice, you'll need to understand the four factors that go into ladder selection. Style, size, duty rating, and material. There is more to ladders than just step and extension ladders. A little research will show you the innovations in the styles of ladders available. Step ladders come in a wide variety of styles such as single-sided, twin, and platform. Extension ladders now have a wide range of accessories such as stabilizers, levels, walk-through extensions, and gutter protectors. If your job calls for two people to be on the ladder at the same time, then you need to use a twin stepladder, giving you two climbing sides rated for the workers. Some ladders have been designed to be multifunctional. Accessories such as planks can be valuable to contractors. These ladders can be used as step or extension ladders. Pinch points may be a hazard in using these type of ladders. One of the most common mistakes made when selecting a ladder is choosing one that is either too short or too long for the job. Factors to consider when choosing your ladder size are the highest safe standing level and highest safe working height. On a step ladder, the highest safe standing level is two steps down from the top and the highest safe working height is four feet above the top step. In other words, it takes a 10 foot tall ladder to do a 14 foot tall job. The highest safe standing level on an extension ladder is four rungs from the top. Also, be aware extension ladder sections need to overlap at least 36 inches. In other words, it takes a 16 foot extension ladder to safely reach a nine and a half foot high surface. Knowing your ladder's duty rating is also crucial. Duty rating is the maximum allowable weight on the ladder, including the worker's weight, the clothing they're wearing, and the tools carried. Consider the variety of personnel that will be using the ladder, and be sure you have the right ladder on hand for your employees. It may be easier to upsize your ladders over downsizing your employees. There are five ANSI recognized duty ratings, 200 pounds, type three, 225 pounds, type two, 250 pounds, type one, 300 pounds, type 1A, and 375 pounds, type 1AA. For twin step ladders, the duty rating refers to the weight load on each side of the ladder. You can find the duty rating clearly marked on the side rails of the ladder. Other labels on the ladder note the highest safe standing level, size, and safety instructions. Read all ladder labels carefully and follow all safety procedures and work practices. 
Labels must be original and legible on the latter, or it's time to budget for a new one. Some manufacturers sell replacement labels for popular ladders. Replace ladder labels that are illegible. The final criteria when choosing the correct ladder for a job is material. Fiberglass ladders are the leading choice in construction due to their durability, strength, and wide range of uses. Both step and extension ladders come in fiberglass and the rails are electrically non-conductive making this the best choice when working around electricity. Keep at least 10 feet from all high voltage lines when working with ladders of any materials. Consider the length and the tip over distance as well when avoiding electrical hazards. For example, a 20 foot ladder used 10 feet from an electrical drop or roof edge could still present a foreseeable hazard. Aluminum ladders are the other option these are lightweight, strong, durable, and corrosion resistant. However, keep in mind that aluminum is a conductor of electricity, so never use aluminum ladders around electrical hazards. Safe ladder use can save your life. Hold yourself and your crew responsible for the safe selection, inspection, setup, and use of all ladders. In Washington State, Employers must use a competent person to train all employees that use ladders to recognize ladder hazards and the procedures to minimize these hazards. Training must include the proper construction, use, placement, and care in handling ladders, the maximum intended load capacities of ladders that are used. Training must also include the requirements of WAC 296-876 and how to find standards that relate to the work being done. Employees must be retrained as necessary to make sure they know and understand the content of the original training. It is best practice to document all safety training for employees. This video by itself does not meet all the requirements of ladder safety training, but can be used as a resource to supplement competent person training.